Don't want diesel? No. Shame. What are you trying to sell? Saint Ram right <laughs> up my bum that I need to get out of. <laughs> what, what, is is it? what is it? However, Oh. <laughs> I'd driven Mark 8, but just a 1.5 petrol. Well, you know absolutely That's... nothing about cars, mate. Come this way. <laughs> Get her here. Yeah? I'll take her jag in. I'll give her all <laughs> the money for a jag. <laughs> Just to get out of this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been summoned to the glorious countryside of Kent and Gravelwood car sales where there are some beautiful cars here. We've got a Donington Grey M5 competition over there. We've got another M5 competition in front of me and the baby blue AMG GTR that's just come back off the road trip with Sam and Tony, which you may or may not have seen the videos of. But Tony finally is on board with my hunt to try and find a daily driver. And he says, gave me a call and told me that he has the perfect package for me. Seeing as I've driven the Mercedes A35 AMG, he believes the car that he has got in stock is the one for me. So let's go and find Tony, check it out and go for a drive. We've got some competitors, A35 AMG, M2, but not the comp, but there is a comp. And there's a man, the myth, the legend, Tony, how's it going? I've sold that one. Oh, so I can't have that. You've already had one anyway. That's true, and <laughs> I sold it pretty quick. I've got a nice M5 you can have, just come in. <laughs> no thanks. No? <laughs> sure? Too lumpy. Well, they do 14 to the gallon. What about diesel? No. Don't want diesel? No. Shame. What are you trying to sell? Saint Ram right <laughs> up my bum that I need to get out of. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it? What is it? Come this way. <laughs> <laughs> Q5. Oh, I mean, I'll tell you who would have that. Uh, Kelly. Kelly, no. would, Kelly would love a Q5 diesel. Get her here. Yeah? I'll take her jag in. I'll give her all <laughs> the money for a jag. <laughs> Just to get out of this. Get out of this, <laughs> And then I've got another problem. The jag. <laughs> Why are you here? You called me up. Did you I? said I've got a car for oh, you. I've got a couple for you. Yeah? Genuinely. Go on. Um, well, this is quite a good shout. Yeah, but I've driven this. I've driven this. Warm hatches are where they're at. 30, 35 grand. Yeah, because they do everything. And they're yeah. good on fuel, don't lose loads of money. Yeah. Come, got another one. All right. This is a don't, bit more money. Do not take me to this beautiful AMG GTR. No, 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 you don't want that. <laughs> Someone does though. No, so these two here. Yes. So you've got new shape S3 Saloon. Yeah. Which is very nice car. And uh, Mark 8 Golf Mark 8 Golf R. So the, them two, sorry them two will be perfect they're both similar money yeah however i have another option which would be even cheaper yeah and it's the same on fuel might even be a little bit better on fuel because you like a bit of fuel I don't you i love fuel no no <laughs> you took one look at me there and it was as though you judged me in two seconds and I went know. no i'm very good at that <laughs> so you got one of these so, yes. This is perfect for you, mate. So obviously they do a G blah, blah. <laughs> obviously they do a GTD. Yeah. And they do a GTI. I looked at the GTD. Mm. I was intrigued by it. I've driven Mark 8 Golf. It was a 1.5 petrol in Scotland. I got 63 MPG. Yeah. Solid. But the GTI, you've got the performance. Yeah. It's iconic. Yeah. And I have done a little bit of research on A35 Golf Mark 8s. You can get some really cool add-ons like body kits, aero kits, things like that that will make it spice it up a little bit. Well, they do three different models. Obviously, you've got the GTI, you've got the GTI, I think it's the GTI Performance, then the GTI Club Sport. Oh, Jesus Christ. And then you've got the R. They might not do the Performance anymore, but they definitely do the Club Sport and the GTI. Okay. And this is like the entry into GTI. I love the little red details along the front. Yeah. You've got the little spy lights down there, whatever they're called. The little spy lights, and then it has a light bar across here like this. No. Sorry, everyone, it's a bit dusty. <laughs> the valet has gone out to deliver a car, as you can see. We ain't got any. Yeah. We're, You're thin on the ground. We're very thin on the ground, so I really need some cars, actually. So Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, plug? Plug. Plug, yes! <laughs> <laughs> so anything 0 to 4 year old hot hatch, sports, performance, SUV, boom. Not Q5 diesels? No, no. <laughs> Not one of them. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, this car's popping. Hmm. There is a lot of plastic. There's a lot of weird scratchy plastic that you can tell that this car has gone through the uh, cost saving department at VW to get the price down. But this is around 30, 32, I think it is. And oh, when you put your foot down, it shifts. I still don't really know this interface or what this virtual dash can do, but I mean, to begin with, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> the golf shape is so unassuming that you don't ever expect it to have the performance that it's got. And I know that you can jump an extra five, 10, maybe 15 grand in today's market to the Mark 8 Golf, but I mean, on roads like this, this is all you need. It properly shoves you back into the seat and then when you let off, the car's like, oh, and you come back forward again. So. <laughs> now, before Tony realizes that I've returned from my test drive, I want to run this exact car through the Magnitude Finance Calculator to just get an idea of what 10% down will look like on the monthly payments. I don't know why this car keeps locking itself. I will unlock it and then probably keep the door open. We might be able to hear some of the race cars going around Brands Hatch. There was a horse there at some point as well. But let's go through the Magnitude Finance Calculator because before I buy any car, I will run the car that is number one in the running for the one that I want to buy and then run it alongside a couple of competitors that are similarly priced just to get an idea of whether it is the best car to buy when it comes to finance. And I think the Golf GTI versus A35 AMG and i30N will be the best car on finance. So, right, let's go through. It is the simplest of processes to get onto the Magnitude Finance and that's BN70, JTO, current mileage is 14,000, 32,000 pounds, deposit 10%, 48 months of 6,000 annual miles. I do that just to keep the monthly payments down because I never intend on keeping it for the full four years. Okay, so then all of my details and we have, boom, there we go. So on a higher purchase balloon payment, 10% down, 394 pounds a month. That in comparison to my BMW M2 competition, which was a 40 grand car, was four grand down, and I believe that was 450 pound a month. So again, it's in line and incredibly cheap for the package that you're getting. Ah, this is so annoying because Tony is right once again. I've plonged the Golf GTI next to a car that Sam is probably buying, if not already bought. Tony, the weather's turned, mate. It's raining, mate. Yeah. Been out in the car. I like it. It's so annoying when you're right. Do you want to buy it? <laughs> I, I did say the spec, personal preference of mine, white with those wheels, I've seen better. Yeah, I've seen better as well. <laughs> but, you know, listen, one man's junk's another man's treasure. Exactly. And it doesn't matter what we think, because yeah. there's always a man for a car. Yeah. So that's basically what happens. However, oh, <laughs> what? got a black car coming in. Oh, uh, Mark 8. Uh, what day is it today? I don't even know. Next week. Okay. Got a black car coming in. Mm, you're gonna have to send me some photos. Now, I have ran that car through the Magnitude Finance Calculator. That actual one? That actual one. Right. Not too bad, 395 a month. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For the, for the package that you're getting, yeah, yeah. I think that's really cool. Do you know what? Even though that car is white, been doing a little bit of research off camera, uh -huh. had a look at Maxton Design, you know the guys that do the kits and stuff, they did a white car. Ah, see? And it looked unreal. <laughs> One man's junk's another man's treasure. As there we go. But Tony, uh -huh. I appreciate you introducing me to the Golf GTI, because whilst I didn't really overlook it, I hadn't had the opportunity of driving one. I'd driven Mark 8, but I'm just a 1.5 petrol. Well, you know absolutely That's... nothing about cars, mate. That's your problem. <laughs> you run the, one of the biggest UK English YouTube channels. You don't know anything about cars. <laughs> nothing. 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 Do you know what, though? There is a sweet spot between the years of around 2008 and 2010 on Lamborghinis and Lamborghinis alone. Is it? <laughs> That's why you invest all your money in that pile of shit. <laughs> I got out of it. You did, yeah. <laughs> right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Test drive done on the Mark 8 Golf GTI. I think it looks, you know what? I'm actually coming around to the idea. Red brake calipers with the red details look spot on, but I'm excited for the black car that Tony's gonna get. So in between this video and when the car turns up, I would have received photos. I'll let you know how I get on. Stay tuned, please subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Goodbye.